Mod Institute top tip. How is the proper way to scan when a patient comes into your office with an existing denture that's ill-fitting and you want to make a new denture for them? Well, I'm going to take you through the steps that I use on the Three Shape Trio system, but these are universally applicable to any scanner. And we're going to then show you what these files look like in ExoCAD. So let's get into it. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do with the ill-fitting denture is take a wash impression or a reline impression of that denture and then scan that into the software using your scanner. And to do that, I recommend, as shown here, you're going to be scanning the intaglio fitting surface of the denture first, starting with the hamular notch region and going all the way around to the contralateral hamular notch and then you're going to be capturing your borders. And it's super critical when you capture your borders that you are very careful to stitch the intaglio of the denture to the buckle flange of the denture. And then once you capture that, you're going to go ahead and get your buckle flange and your teeth, and you're gonna then combine all that information and finalize with the occlusal surfaces of your teeth. Next, you're gonna go ahead and scan your opposing arch. In this particular case, we're doing a lower partial denture as well. And so we're scanning the mandibular dentition and we're making sure to get two thirds up the retromolar pad and all the way into the retromyohyoid fossa with our intraoral digital impression. Once we have that captured, we're going to ensure that we have all the necessary soft tissues um, and, and hard tissues from this scan and then we're gonna get our bite. So we're gonna, in this particular software, skip the step where it asked us to scan the pre-op and we're gonna go ahead and capture the bite using the pre-op denture scan, the mandibular working arc scan and the bite. And now we're gonna go back and now capture our intraoral soft tissues on the maxilla as our working arc scan. And to do that, um, three shapes gonna duplicate the denture. You're gonna erase all of that because we don't need it. And you're gonna go ahead and capture your soft tissues. And the way that I like to do this, is I start on the hamular notch and I capture all the hard connected tissues. So all the keratinized tissue of the uh, alveolar ridge and the palatal areas are gonna be captured. And then what I'm gonna do as seen here, I'm gonna delete all the borders that I accidentally scanned and then capture them with a plan in mind. And I like to go from hamular notch to midline and then contralateral hamular notch to midline. That's gonna ensure that we have the tissues in one position. And of course, if you wanna know how I mark my denture borders from an intraoral scan, you could go ahead and watch my top tip on denture borders for the maxillary arch. But once we capture one side of the arch, we're then gonna get the contralateral side starting in the hamular notch and reconnecting to that midline position. When you do this, it's important that you get it in one continuous motion and that you're not moving the tissues all around. Now, what we're gonna be able to do is in ExoCAD, we're gonna bring in the lower arch, the denture, and those are gonna be in occlusion. Now, you could design a denture just from this information alone, and you could do a brand new denture, a copy denture, a refit copy denture, um, or you have the option to actually go into expert mode and go to align meshes and pin the intraoral maxillary scan of the soft tissues to the denture reline impression to get your vertical at, at the proper vertical. Now the maxillary arch is going to be uh, aligned and you could decide now, do you want to design your new denture using the intraoral scan of the soft tissues or do you want to design your new denture using the virtual or the poured up virtual denture made from the 360 degree denture scan. I personally like the design from the intraoral scan, but I love having options. And this is just the power of digital dentistry here in its finest. Stay tuned for some more top tips from the Mod Institute. I hope this helps you guys.